you guys, it's Tori from Coffee and Colossians, and today I'm here to talk to you about a sweet little nothing uh, from God. And this one specifically has to do with writing in the Bible, and um, it really touched my heart, um, and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's dive into it. <music> people might have a problem with writing in the Bible. It's a holy book meant to be um, revered and held sacred and uh, never defiled. And while I agree that it is a very important book, I want to argue that uh, the Bible is actually a personal letter from God to you to be intimately interacted with. And there's been a rise lately in uh, Bible journaling and highlighting and writing the margins and the GMG method and there's just so many people writing the Bible and I think a lot of people might have um, a problem with this and they don't understand why this is happening. Um, but I do believe that it's uh, God's, God's letter to us and when you receive a letter you write back and um, I think God loves when we interact with him this way. I think this is an amazing new way to interact and communicate with God and um, to just accept his love and uh, to ask for guidance. This leads me to my sweet little nothing. Recently I read the book of Mark and I loved it. It was amazing to see all of the miracles that Jesus had done. He really in Mark, you really get to see it more than in any other gospel. Miracle after miracle that he did, and the lives that he changed while he was on earth, far less the lives that he's changed um, since then. And um, I was reading Mark 9, and it was talking about um, anything being possible if you have faith. And he was talking specifically to someone uh, that wanted to be healed. They were sick and they wanted uh, Jesus to heal them and they said, um, and he said this a number of times through the book, uh, just have faith. Have faith and it will be given to you. Have faith and it will happen. Um, and it made me think about how do you reconcile that uh, when it's someone who um, prayed and prayed and had faith that God would heal them or God would heal their family member and it never happened. It just wasn't God's plan. How do you tell them that it wasn't, God, wasn't God's plan um, for your person to get better and that in a way God wanted them to die and um, that I think is really hard um, and it, it bothered me for a while and um, something that I have been struggling with. How do you uh, deal with grief? How do you deal with um, when God doesn't answer your prayers in such a huge way? Um, and so I wrote on a little sticky note um, and stuck it into my Bible above one of the verses, and this one was specifically in Mark 9. Um, the reason I used a sticky note and not uh, write it specifically straight into the Bible um, is because I do use the GMG method, and so I do um, highlight everything in my Bible color-coded, and I do write in my Bible notes about um, things that I learnt, um, but because this was a question uh, that I had, I didn't want it um, so much permanently in there. It was just something that I wanted there um, so that I would think about. Um, but it was really cool because um, I wrote that sticky note, I stuck it in there over the verse, I prayed, um, and then I walked away. Obviously this is something that I've uh, had thoughts about for a while now and so um, it's not something that uh, went away but this was the, the moment where I was like, God, tell me, explain this to me. 
Um, and two days later, uh, you may have seen in my favorites video that I've been loving watching Christian YouTubers. And two days later on Christian Inspire Books, I saw a video. And I am telling you, this video was an answer from God. The video, and I will link it below, is called Are All Things Possible for Christians? And I clicked on it just thinking, oh, like, let's see, um, let's see what it's talking about. Is it talking about that verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me? Um, is, is that what it's talking about? I clicked on it, um, and I began watching, and, um, this video was specifically about Mark 9, and... I have to say, while it didn't answer all of my questions, and I don't think God ever will answer all of our questions, um, we just have to have faith that He has a plan, um, but it did help settle my heart and really was God um, talking to me and letting me know that He heard my prayers and He heard my questions. So I just wanted to share that story with you. It. Um, it was a really exciting moment and I wrote it down immediately so I wouldn't forget to share it with you guys because I was like, oh, this is so cool. Um, it's really nice when you know God is talking to you and that it is a two-way street and it's not just unanswered. Okay guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love my sweet little nothing videos and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!